Hey, what's going on, Tramp Tuts? And today you're gonna learn how to double front to ball out as suggested by. The double front to ball out, there's not really many, well, any tricks that I know of to help you do it, besides practicing the two base tricks. So you wanna get super comfortable with double fronts and super, super comfortable with ball outs. First with your ball out, you wanna make sure you could, uh, you could land them consistently and easy on your feet. And you do that by pushing up as hard as you can off your back. You don't wanna push forward, you wanna push up and throw into your front foot like this. Because when you push forward, you may get that front spin, but you don't go nearly as high. It makes it way, way harder to land it. So you wanna try and get those legs at a 90 degree angle and be able to at least like one bounce ball out and land like this. Okie dokie, next is your double front. You wanna, you don't have to be able to land them every time, but it helps to be able to land them so you kinda, you're comfortable with them. And you just wanna do them over and over. Get super comfortable with double fronts. Like I can do them standing. Like, I'm not scared at all by double fronts. And that's what you have to be like to be able to do a double front to ball out. Next with your double front, you want to get used to trying to see the ground when you're coming into the second front flip. And to do this, try to do the double front without tucking and holding your legs. So get nice and high and just throw it and don't hold your legs like this. And when you're doing this, really try to see the, the ground on that second flip. Try and uh, even like use your head and spot the ground for a bit, like you saw me do there. Because when you're doing a regular ball out, you look at the ground like this. You don't just go like this into your ball out. So you want to try and look at the ground on your double front. But so, I find them really hard to do when I'm jumping high. Because I can't really, when I land my double front, I find it hard to keep my legs up. Because you have to just barely make it around because you're spinning so hard and it forces your legs down. So I like to go just at like a small to medium jump, kind of like this. And just do a double front. And it's just kind of trial and error. If you spin too hard and land like this, you want to try and spin less. So just kind of trial and error. Just do a couple double fronts at a medium height. And eventually, you'll kind of get the hang of it. Try to really see the ground. Try to not make it so your double front's a blur. Try to really see the ground so you kind of know where you are. See, like that one? Spun too fast, opened up too late. So I didn't really land and my feet kind of slammed. So after you get pretty consistently land a double front on your back and have your feet up, you just want to go to a, a ball out to your back. They're really easy. As I'm sure you know, you want to be really good at them where you can do them with almost no bounce. Just kind of lean back and ball out. Because if you, if you have to jump high to do a ball out, you won't be able to double front to ball out. You want to be able to just stand there and ball out. But uh, yeah. So after that, it's just kind of trial and error from there. Try to land your front flip nice. Get those legs in 90 degree and push up and ball out and eventually you'll land it like this. But yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, favorite, subscribe. And uh, please, see if I have another tutorial before you comment for a trick tutorial. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.